Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be listening to New York City's Mortician, Darkest Day of Horror. This is one of my favorite fucking Mortician albums. It's actually my third favorite. And this reissue, first time on vinyl, but this reissue is a collaboration with Relapse and Hell's Headbangers. You have Wes's amazing fucking artwork. I love his shit. Just killer fucking zombies in New York City. And you have Will and Roger. Will is not holding up a taxi cab and Roger seems to not have his bong on him. So that's always good. But the reason I am listening to some old school brutal New York death metal it's because we're going to be reviewing some new New York brutal death metal. And that is also very, very technical and not as caveman oriented as Mortician. But mechanical in that Mortician uses a drum machine, but Artificial Brain uses a drummer who probably is a robot because the drumming on this record is fucking insane along with everything else artificial brain pulls off on infrared horizon on profound lore records and this is 10 tracks of science fiction driven fucking tech brutal death metal there's no cheesiness on here like at all nothing this is a fucking gorgeous piece of fucking East Coast death metal. And I picked this up at the pre-show record release at the Decibel Metal and Beer Fest. And I was just blown away by their live performance. I was blown away when I went home and played this straight through. Every single song on here is fucking golden. The songwriting, it's just no pun intended, out of this world. And uh, I picked it up on clear because I wasn't spending an extra $5 for some swirl colors. I'm sorry, especially since the dude even told me, because I was like, well, you know, why is it an extra five bucks? And he was like, ah, oh, it, it has swirls. I, there's nothing different about the music. I would have taken it on black. But, I mean, I don't, I don't mind paying 25 this, when it comes, you know, with shipping and all that. That's what it would cost. But $30? $30 bucks just so you can get, you know, a color that's on the clear? Like, it, it was all splatter, the dude said. So you're paying five extra dollars for the splatter that's not limited or anything. Just from what the guy told me. He said, all the vinyl pre-orders are sold out, so here's the copies we have left. So they were selling the colored swirl stuff for five extra dollars. Five dollars I didn't have to waste. And I'm not saying it's a waste of money, because it's not at all. This record is fucking amazing. And like I said, I would take in this, you know, it doesn't matter what color it is, as long as it fucking plays because the music on here speaks for itself. Like, I thought they couldn't one-up Constellations and I was dead wrong. Every single song on here, like, Floating in Delirium, Synthesized Instincts, Static Shattering, Estranged from Orbit, the title track, Infrared Horizon, which has tons of guest vocals on it. This whole album has some sick guest vocals. Then we have Anchored to the Inlaid Ark, Mist Like Mercury, Vacant Explorer, Graveyard of Lightless Planets. Fuck yeah. And the last track, Ash Eclipse, which is phenomenal. And like I said, there's seriously, this is all killer, no filler. If you're a fan of death metal in any way, shape, or form, like, Especially if you're into like more technical death metal and you know people that really really can write amazing songs This is 
completely fucking essential listening. Like, for real. If you like technical death metal and brutal death metal, and you don't know about this band, or you don't, you didn't know they had a new album coming out, I'll put the Bandcamp link below, and even if you pick this up digitally, you will not be disappointed. I give you my word. But some of the lyrics on here are just fucking amazing. Like, not since Blood Incantation Star Spawn have I read such interesting science fiction driven and, you know, outer space. I'm trying to think of a, you know, like astral death metal lyrics. But here we also have, you know, like like robotics and all, all sorts of awesome sci-fi shit. Like, it's seriously so fucking cool. Like, I'm gonna read you the lyrics to a graveyard of lightless planets. The data of your ghost is under the dust, a third-hand moment, a transfer of lust. It slept for so long, I felt something missing, a haywire drive, a burning and itching. This scrap, it shouldn't have happened, a glitch, a digital fog, a trap, a pest, a reaction. It functions like a drug. To gaze the grain, decaying, figureless, aching is to fade away. If framed in place, it will stay. Butcher job, circuitry surgery, eyelids, curtains, clinging from static, absorbed, instinct or imprint, rusted intellect in its prime. Blunt instrument, unsuppressed power of the mind. By its fingers, in its eyes, by its neckline, in its thighs. Almost human, subtile, different, static, shattered, missing pieces. Building unpaved mindscapes, overgrown, obtuse, out of time, neglected, abandoned. Awkward invention without a spine, not created at all, evolved through design. Building golems, betraying your kind. What makes an invention if the invention was destined to be made? Ticking infinity. Things you see gestate, evolve into mutated memory cells. Yeah. <laughs> see that fucking cheesing? That's the shit I fucking love. Intelligently written death metal lyrics. It's the fucking shit. It seriously is. And like I was saying, I mean, if you're a fan of death metal in any way, shape, or form, I, I would check it out. Like, I mean, unless you're just really, really all about, like, finished death doom, which there's nothing wrong with that. I worship the altar of finished death doom and cavernous death metal in general. We are listening to Mortician, but... This is on some next level shit. Seriously, like, this, the Ominous Circle, and Blood Incantation are just creating so much interesting, no pun intended for um, artificial brain and blood incantation, but out of this world death metal, like, seriously. And with the Ominous Circle's ritualistic, you know, death surges it's just fucking phenomenal stuff like and the reason I'm bringing this up I'm not just bringing up blood incantation because of the whole you know outer space and death metal similarities but that's the only similarities that are on here besides you know amazing songwriting and stuff like like I said this is very very guttural and super brutal vocal wise but not in a cheesy way at all like there is no fucking like you know job for a cowboy bullshit or anything like that this is pure new york brutal death metal it's just technical as well but like i said the songwriting it's just phenomenal like, it really is. There's certain parts where it's just like, I wish that my record player had a rewind button because, like, it's just so fucking good. Like, seriously, like, some of the riffs, some of the vocal patterns, 
the drumming just throughout the whole thing like I said it's just oh my god it's a fu it's, it's an onslaught like it's just one of those records that just has this emotional and I know that's weird because like it's kind of like about robots and you know shit like that like dead planets and cool shit but it just has this like you know emotional investment that I put into it like while listening to it like you just feel this certain way about the riffs and the songwriting like it's so fucking well done that you know even something that is science fiction and you know as almost as far as from reality as it gets and further from your average you know death metal like you know talking about zombies and shit like that this is going above and beyond and like i said it's very very interesting and i love the fact that death metal is heading towards this direction again i mean there were bands before that have fucked with that whole you know sci-fi thing especially nocturnus who made a whole album about making a time machine to go back in time and kill jesus and that's awesome like that's serious that's cool as shit and that was written in the 80s i think that came out the same year as altars of madness or it might have been a, a year after or two years i do know it is uh morbid angels old vocalist and drummer but whatever fucking artificial brain though and profound lore just pretty much blow away all the competition in the new york death metal scene at the moment like even suffocation like that's why this is why i wanted to talk about really quick that new suffocation track that uh just dropped i think it's complete garbage I'm sorry, like, as much as I love Suffocation, I even inducted their debut album into the Awesome Albums annals yesterday. It just, it does nothing for me, because, like, stuff like this exists. The Ominous Circle, Blood Incantation, like, just, you know, death metal that isn't just, I hate the term, but stock. And that's what I heard from the new Suffocation. I heard this production that was you know so just like crystal clear sounding and it just it sounds like suffocation phoning in a record like when they should have just re-recorded breeding the spawn the whole way through and there you would have your old fans happy and your new fans happy but in my opinion right now Artificial Brain are holding down New York death metal. And this album is seriously... there. Uh, there's no flaws with it. The only flaw, like I said, um, you know, I would have taken this on black, but all they had was clear and uh, splatter. But I'm not paying an extra $5 just to have some splatter on here. As long as it plays, I don't care what color it is, like, but to each his own, musically, this is just A plus shit, and if you're a fan of their last record, you're gonna love this, and if you're new to this band, I guarantee, if you're a fan of death metal, you're gonna love this, and if you're a fan of just very good songwriting, yeah. Artificial Brain, Infrared Horizon on Profound Lore Records. It's pretty much a perfect death metal album, and I'm going to stand by that. You were listening to Mortician, Darkest Day of Horror. I need to start getting on my Mortician vinyl collection, uh, collecting hat because I need Hacked Up for Barbecue, Zombie Apocalypse, etc., etc. But... Sorry about all the trolling. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.